tonight's junior girls matchup. Let's meet this evening's starters. First for the Richfield Christian. Number 12, Kennedy Cox. Number three, Olivia Cox. Number 20, Kimber Cox. Number five, Marissa Mosley. Number 15, Ayla Russell. And now for your CRM Lady Falcons. Number two, Kinsley Shepherd. Number three, Bailey Watson. Number 20, Sophie Snow. Number 22, Ryan Gramlin. And number 33, Addie Estes.
Welcome to tonight's ball game. Junior high matchup between Ridgefield Warriors and the CRA Falcons this is a junior high game. First tip, CRA comes away with it. Clayton with the ball. He's gonna set the offense up, gives it to McMillan. He looks to go inside, nothing there. Gets it back out to Clayton. Clayton back to McMillan. New foul. Jackson Billing with that first foul, first team foul. Sarah will have the ball underneath the basket. Clayton in, bounds it. Gives it to Austin. Austin puts the layup in and good. Hayden Austin with the first points of the ball game. Ridgefield to set their offense up. Pass underneath on the baseline. Dribble towards the basket. Put up, no good. Sari knocks it out of bounds. It'll be Ridgefield's ball underneath the basket. Ridgefield into the corner, three-point shot put up, no good. Ball on the ground, Ridgefield retains it, puts the ball up, and it's gonna be a foul. Callan McMillan with his first foul, first team foul for the Falcons. It's gonna send Billings to the line to shoot two. First free throw up, off the front of the iron, no good. Second free throw up, no good. Ridgefield comes away with it. Warriors with three point shot, and it's short. Ball on the ground, Austin on the floor to get it. He gives it out to Lemons. Lemons slows it down, he gives it up to Clayton. Clayton will bring it across the half court. He's gonna drive all the way into the basket, puts the shot up, no good. Stewart with the rebound, he puts the follow up in, and it is good. Justice Stewart with two points. Falcons lead four to nothing. Early on in the first quarter, four minutes and 40 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Ridgefield getting their offense going on the far side, back to the near side into the corner. Pass inside, dribble towards the basket. Shot up, no good. Lemons comes, comes down with it. He's got a couple of Warriors trying to take the ball away from him, but he fights it away. Ball passed down court to Austin. Austin puts the shot in. Peyton Austin with his fourth point of the ball game. Nice movement with the ball for the Falcons. Ball on the floor, scramble for it. It's gonna be a walk, it's gonna be Falcons ball, and we have mass substitution for the Warriors. Falcons look good on that possession, getting it down the floor, finding the open man, hitting the layup. Good ball movement. Clayton crosses half court. Loses his hand on the ball, but picks it up, keeps his dribble going. Pass inside to McMillan. McMillan towards the basket and he puts the layup in. Talon McMillan with two points. Falcons lead eight to nothing. Falcons playing good defense in the corner. Clayton comes away with that. After good defense by Lemons, he gives it up to McMillan. McMillan goes in for the layup, but he's fouled. A couple of players help him up. And that foul will be on Ian Matt, his first foul, second team foul. And they'll send Tal McMillan to the line to shoot two. He has two points already on the ball game. Looking to get his third and fourth here. And free throw is good. Nine to nothing, three minutes and 41 seconds left in the first period. More substitutions for the Warriors. McMillan's second shot up, rolls around and drops in, good. 10 to nothing, CRA over Ridgefield. Falcons with some defense, Clayton reaches in, knocks the ball on the floor, he gives it up to Lemons. Lemons is gonna take it to the basket, but he carries the ball and is gonna have a turnover. 
picked the ball up, took a couple, couple little steps as he had it in his hand. He had wide open to the layup, for the layup. Just a turnover. Ridgefield now will have the ball, trailing 10 to nothing. Clayton with the defense half court, and he's going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul, second team foul for the Falcons. Warriors will take it out right in front of the scorer's table. Falcons looking to pick up their defense again. Going for a trap in the corner, but they get, her, get it away from there. Pass into the far corner, tipped shot. Stewart with that rebound, he gives it up to Clayton. Clayton's going to take it all the way to the basket. Ball's knocked away. McMillan steps back for the three-point shot. No good. Stewart tries to recover, but he steps on the end line, turns the ball over. Good hustle play. Just couldn't quite get to it. Ridgefield's ball. Wide open man underneath for the Warriors, and they get their first point of the ball game. Evan Casey with that bucket. Richfield gets the ball back, gets another shot up, no good. Falcons uh, several on the floor to try to get it. Gonna call a walk. I'm not sure we had possession of that, but that's what the call is. So it'll be Richfield's ball underneath the basket. Inbound pass to the near side. Looking back inside, but passes it back out to the top of the key, and we're gonna have a step and a walk. Good defense by the Falcons, forcing the turnover. Ridgefield's gonna pick up the Falcons in a full court press. And Falcons are gonna call a timeout to address that defensive situation, and we'll be back in a moment. Falcons will inbounds ball with Warriors in a full court press. McMillan has the ball. He's looking to get it across half court. He gives it up to Lemons. Lemons has it, he dribbles. And they're gonna call a carry. And a turnover for the Falcons. Falcons leading 10 to two with two minutes and 15 seconds left in the first quarter. Richfield with the ball. Drive towards the baseline, McMillan knocks it away. Stewart loses the handle, and they give it back to the Falcons. Warriors will still continue this full court press. McMillan wide open, he gives it up to Stewart. Stewart's gonna take it down and give it to Austin. Austin loses the handle on it, picks it up, gives it back. Three point shot for Clayton is no good. We're going to have a foul on Justice Stewart, his first foul, third team foul for the Falcons. Clayton will picking him up at half court. Oh, I believe there could have been a step there, but a little move and shot, no good. Warriors come down with the rebound, put it back up and in. Luke Martin, two points. 10 to four with a minute and a half left in the first period. Austin with the ball, he gives it up to Clayton. Clayton's gonna drive it all the way to the basket. He misses the shot, but the ball goes out of bounds. The Falcons ball. Had a good look at the basket, but just couldn't get the shot to go through. Hit the backboard and bounced off of a Warrior. Inbound to Austin. Austin puts it up immediately. No good. Grabs his own rebound. Puts it up, and he follows that shot up good. That's six points for Hayden Austin as the Falcons lead 12-4 with a minute and 14 seconds left in the first quarter. 
Pass underneath for the Warriors. Wide open man, he gives it up to another one and they put it in. Ian Matt with that basket. The Warriors trail 12 to six. Pass inside to Austin. Austin with the shot up and good. Eight points for Austin. 14 to six, 50 seconds left in the first quarter. Warriors pushing it down the court, out of control. It's gonna call walk. Be Falcons ball. More substitutions for the Warriors. Pass to half court on the inbound. Austin with the ball, he dribbles it down. He stops, reset the offense with Clayton. Ball at the top of the key, 40 seconds left. We'll call a reach in on Luke Martin, his first foul. Third team foul on the Warriors Falcons ball underneath. Lemons with the ball. He drives towards the basket, a little runner up, no good. Ball's gonna be out on the Warriors. Falcons ball with 31 seconds left in the first quarter. Falcons the best points have been right underneath the basket. See if we can get that. Again, Lemons is open, pass to him, and he's gonna be fouled. That was a great, great inbound pass. He's gonna go to the free throw line. It's gonna be Jackson Billings with his second foul, fourth team foul. Cole Lemons to the line to shoot two. First one off the iron, no good. Falcons leading 14 to six with 30 seconds left. Let's see if Lemons can get this second basket, second free throw. It's up, hard off the back of the iron, no good. Warriors come down with it. Cross half court, get, trying to get an offensive set going before the end of the first quarter. Three point shot put up. Rivals around, no good. Warriors fight for the rebound. They eventually come down with it, kick back out to the three point line. Shot put up and good. Fourteen to nine on that three-point shot. Falcons the inbound pass. Meredith with the ball. He throws it away. And Lemons is going to draw the foul. It's his first foul, fourth team foul. It's going to send Luke Martin to the free throw line. Falcons played a really good first part of this first quarter but have led up towards the end and allowed the Warriors to get back in the ball game. Two free throws now. First one is up and in. 14 to 10. Second shot up, no good. Gonna be a reach over the back. Foul on. That's Ryan Lampkin with that foul, his first fifth team foul. The Falcons ball underneath. Four seconds left. Try to get a quick shot in here before the end of the first quarter. McMillan open, he's gonna drive it down, or push it down the floor. He passes to Stewart, Stewart, oh my goodness, throws it up off the backboard. <laughs> what a shot. <laughs> He had lost his footing and just put it up and it went off the backboard and went in. So Falcons lead 16 to 10 at the end of the first quarter. We'll be back to start the second in a moment.
Welcome back to the second quarter. Richfield will start this quarter with the ball. Falcons leading 16 to 10. Had a good beginning of the ball game. Richfield kind of got back in it towards the end of the first quarter. Long three-pointer, no good. Stewart comes down with that rebound. They're going to call a jump ball, the CRA's ball. Lemons will inbounds the ball. McMillan moves to get open. Lemons has it now. He stops, picks his dribble up, has to get rid of it, gives it to Meredith. Meredith is going to be called for a travel. A little frustration on the Falcons' part. The full court press has got to him a little bit. Inbounds pass and drive towards the basket. Wide open layup. Evan Ellenberg. 16 to 12. See how the Falcons handle the pressure this time. Lemons with the ball. He's going to bring it all the way down floor. He throws it over the head of Justice Stewart for another turnover. Several turnovers in a row for the Falcons. On that press, they struggled to handle it. Clayton back into the ball game. He had injured himself on a previous play. I think he'd hurt his knee, but he is back in. He's limping a little bit on that. Hopefully he can get that worked out. Pass inside. Inside shot, no good, but over the back, reaching, reaching in is Ian Matt, his second foul, sixth team foul for the Warriors. Clayton with the ball. He's going to push it down court, and he's going to be fouled. Max and Ray with that foul, that should, friend, that should send us to the free throw line. Clayton will go to the line to shoot the front end of a one and one. 16 to 12 with just over five minutes left in the first half. First free throw up. Off the back of the iron, no good. Austin with the rebound, he puts it back in. That's on Hayden Austin's 10th point of the ball game. He's played really well inside. A little out of control there by the Warriors since they get the ball up. And Clayton with a great defensive play takes it away. And he gives it up to McMillan, which gives it to Lemons, and they push it down underneath to Austin. Wide open again. He is going to be fouled and get to go to the free throw line. Ryan Lampkin with that foul, his second foul, eighth team foul for the Warriors. Hayden Austin to the free throw line with 10 points. It's a chance to shoot two here. Rattles the first one in. It is good. Second one is good. Also, 12 points for Hayden Austin. As Falcons increase the lead 20 to 12 in the second quarter. Warriors drive underneath the basket, give it up. Nice looking play. Lampkin with that bucket, 20 to 14, and a turnover on the inbounds pass. We're going to be a block on Cole Lemon, his second foul, 15 foul. So Warriors will have the ball underneath their own basket. They force some turnovers on the Falcons on that defense. Missed inside shot there, just all over Austin. Three players. Let's see who they give that foul to. Maxon Ray, his second, ninth team foul. And that's going to send Austin to the line to shoot two more, or excuse me, to shoot a one and one. Hayden Austin with 12 points in the ball game. Front end of this is up and good. 21 to 14. Second shot off the iron hard. Warriors come down with the rebound. Good defense by the Falcons. We'll drive towards the basket. Ball is knocked away. And a wide open Warrior underneath. Jaden Adams with two points. 
16 to 21. Clayton carrying it across half court. He's going to drive all the way to the basket, look to give it up to Austin. Austin is right there, and he has another inside layup, 23 to 16. 15 points for Hayden Austin. They found him wide open underneath the basket several times. Good offensive set, good looks. And he's covered the points. Austin intercepting that pass, gives it up to Clayton. <laughs> Several people wanting the ball. Clayton's going to give it in the corner, and the Lemons are offside. Long three-pointer, no good. Clayton with the rebound. He's going to look back to the basket, sees Austin on the other side. Austin can't hang on to it. Ball is out of bounds. And it's going to be the Falcons' ball. A few substitutions for Ridgefield. McMillan inbounds pass, he gives it out to Lemons. Lemons, long three-pointer, doesn't hit anything. And the Falcons turn the ball over, and Richfield brings it down. Spin move, back out to the top of the key. Far side for a three-point shot, it's tipped, no good, but the Warriors come down with the rebound. Put the shot up, no good. Stewart with the, with the rebound, and they're reaching in, and he's just going to knock them away. Ian Matt with, I believe, his third foul, tenth team foul. That's going to send Justin Stewart to the line to shoot two. He has four points on the ball game. Here's his first of two free throws. And he misses the first one. Braxton Dunn into the ball game for the Falcons. Nice round of applause for Hayden Austin and the effort he's put forth in this ball game. 15 points in this first half. Stewart misses both of those free throws and the Warriors come away with it. They set their offense up on the far side, pass to the baseline, and a baseline jumper no good. He's gonna be an out of bounds on trying to recover the ball, so it'll be Falcons ball. Two minutes and 28 seconds left in the second quarter. Falcons leading 23 to 16. McMillan with the ball. He gives it up to Lemons. He looks ahead to Clayton. Falcons have the numbers. Clayton's going to drive it all the way to the basket and has it. He's fouled. <laughs> they left him wide open the basket and he got. Reach in and foul Connor Johnson. And that's going to put Clayton free throw line to shoot two. And this first one is good for his first point of the ball game. 24 to 16. He's played a good ball game, just hasn't been able to score any points, but he's handled the ball really well for the Falcons. Second shot up. Both of those nice free throws. 25 to 16. Warriors drive to the free throw line. They're going to call a blocking foul, I believe, on Dunn. Braxton Dunn with his first foul, 16 foul. New Warriors ball underneath their own basket. Two minutes, 10 seconds left in the second quarter. Wide open, but a block by Clayton. And touched by the Warriors, so it'll be Falcons ball. Inbound to Clayton. He tries to give it up to McMillan, but the ball is knocked away from him. I'm going to call a foul on the Falcons. Tell him McMillan his second foul, seventh team foul, would be a two shot free throw situation for Evan Ellenberg. He has two points in the ball game. He'll try to add his total as the Falcons lead 25 to 16. First free throw, rolls over the front of the iron, hits the backboard and goes in, 25 to 17. Second free throw is up and in.
Falcons leading 25 to 18. Full court press still being put on by the Warriors. Lemon picks the ball up. He throws it down court and throws it away. Warriors with the drive into the basket. No good. They come down with the rebound, but Dunn takes the ball away from them. They're trying to get it from him, but he gives it up to Lemons, who passes it forward. But he takes steps. Lemons turns the ball over again. The Warriors ball. They get it at the half court stripe with a minute and 40 seconds left in the first half. Warriors trail 25 to 18. Going to be a foul on Cole Lemons, his third foul, eighth team foul. That'll send the Warriors to the line to shoot a one and one. Max and Ray will be shooting the front end of a one and one now. First free throw is up and good. 25 to 19. Hudson Inman into the ball game for the Falcons to replace Cole Lemons who picked up his third foul a moment ago. Baxson Ray with his second half of this one and one free throw. And it's good also. He has two points on the ball game and the Warriors cut it to 25-20. Inman with the ball, gives it up to Lemon. Lemons is going to get it across half court. He gives it to Dunn, which gives it back to McMillan. Inman with the ball at the top of the key. He drives in, and he's going to pick up a foul. Should go to the free throw line and shoot two free throws. And that is Baxton Ray's third foul in the 12th team foul. Hudson Inman to the line to shoot two. Falcons leading 25 to 20 with a minute 25 seconds left in the first half. First free throw hits the iron off the left side, no good. And he'll get his follow-up free throw now. Second free throw is no good. Stewart comes down with the rebound. He looks to give it back to Inman, and the ball goes on the floor. There's a scramble for it. Warriors are going to come down with it. They're going to call a jump ball, and it will be Ridgefield's ball. Ridgefield crossing half court to get their offense going. Dribble to the far side. Thought about the three-pointer, but did not pull the trigger. They missed the shot. They get their own rebound. Ball's bouncing around. It's going to be out on a Warrior. Fifty-seven seconds left as the Falcons inbound the ball with the full court press being put on. by the Warriors and we step out of bounds. Good defense by Richfield. Forced to turn over on us and they get the ball back. Three point shot from the Warriors off no good. Stewart with the rebound. Wow. He's gonna call that on Luke Martin. The second team It's going to send Stewart to the line to shoot two. He missed his previous two free throws, but he has four points in the ball game. First free throw up, off the back of the iron, no good. Second free throw is good. 26-20 with 40 seconds left in the first half. Ridgefield with the ball. Ridgefield taking their time, maybe one for one shot, not sure. Nice defensive play by Clayton as he knocks the ball away on the far side. Pass inside, gonna be steps. 
walked before he made the move, turned it over, Falcons ball. Warriors pull back on the full court press. Falcons should hold this one for the last shot, which is 15 seconds away from the end of the half. Clayton with the ball, he gives it to Inman. Inman looking to give it in the corner to Stewart. He throws the ball away with eight seconds left. The ball's tipped out of bounds. It'll be Falcons ball. Eight seconds. McMillan inbounding it in the far corner. He gives it to Stewart. Stewart puts the shot up. He's going to draw a foul. That's going to be the fourth foul on Ian Matt. He's going to send Stewart to the line to shoot two free throws. He's one of four in this first half. He has five points for the Falcons. First free throw off the back of the iron, no good. Just a little hard on his free throws. Second shot up, and it's good. Richfield's gonna call a 30 second timeout with six seconds left, 6.8 seconds left, and we'll be back in just a moment. Right at the end of the first half here with Ridgeville with the ball with 6.8 seconds left. Pass down court, three seconds left. Shot put up and in. Ridgefield ends the, ends the first half with a bucket. Ryan Lampkin with that bucket. And we'll go into the half with the Falcons leading 27-22. We'll be back after halftime.
Welcome to the second half of the junior high game. Falcons leading 27-22. Falcons played a good first half. They'll inbound the ball. Meredith with the ball at the top of the key. He's going to drive in, looks to give it up. McMillan takes it and brings it around to the top of the key and gives it to Lemons. Lemons has the ball taken away from him. Richfield pushes the ball down the floor into the far corner. Fake three-pointer, give up the ball, and Lemons takes that away for a good defensive play. He gives it up to Meredith. He crosses half court to get the offense set up. Austin with the ball, gives it back to Lemons, who gives it to Stewart underneath. He has the ball knocked away as he goes up for the layup. Doss Clayton is not in to start the second half. I wonder if his, his injury was bothering him. We're going to have a timeout. 30-second timeout, but we'll be back in a moment. Warriors will inbound the ball. Three point shot on the far side, no good. Warriors come down with it. Ball knocked away as the shot's put up. Stewart comes down with that rebound. He gives it to Meredith who pushes it ahead to Lemons who dribbles, picks the ball up, has to get rid of it. He can't, dri he did dribble and they didn't call a double dribble. He drives him for the shot, puts it up and in. Cole Lemons with his first points of the ball game. 29-22. Block shot by Hayden Austin. Ball goes out of bounds. Warriors ball. Just four and a half minutes left in the third quarter. Shot put up by the Warriors, no good. Meredith with the ball. It's gonna be a foul on Ryan Lampkin, his third, first team foul of the second half for the Ridgefield Warriors. Lemons has the ball, he gives it. He throws it away, Austin tries to save it. Just couldn't quite get to it, couldn't quite get it back in. Wide open shot for the Warriors. And that ball goes in. Evan Casey with his fourth point of the ball game. 24-29. Runner by Lemons. Sky ball and it goes in. His fourth point. All four points coming in this quarter, 31-24. Falcons leading. Three point shot put up. No good, Warriors come down with it and they put the follow up bucket in. Ryan Lambkin with that point, his sixth point of the ball game. 26-31, pass to Meredith, good look. By Hayden Austin, Meredith just couldn't hang on to it. Ball went out of bounds. Falcons struggled with some turnovers in this ball game. They jumped out to a big lead, but have allowed the Warriors to stay in it after the middle of the first quarter. Falcons bring their pressure out towards midcourt. Warriors take it to the far side, dribble around. Ball's going to be knocked out of uh, out of bounds on the Warriors, Louie dribbled it up his foot. Lemons to inbound the ball for the Falcons. He gives it to Meredith, who gives it right back to him. 
He passes down to Austin. Austin will stop. Give it back to Lemon so that they can set the offense up. Be double teamed by the Warriors. And that's going to be Vexen Ray's fourth foul. Two minutes and 49 seconds left in the third quarter. Warriors have played some good defense. Forced the Falcons into a lot of turnovers. They're going to pick them up here at midcourt. Meredith with to McMillan. Ball's tipped away, but Meredith comes down with it. He drives to the basket, tries to give it to Austin, but goes right past him. Lemons picks the ball up, a three-point shot, rattles around, no good. Stewart comes down with it. They're fighting for it. Ball goes on the floor. Warriors knock it away, come down with it, and he's going to call a walk. Took off before he put the ball down. Doss Clayton will come back into the ball game now. Two minutes, 25 seconds left in the third quarter, 31-26. McMillan on inbounds pass, inbound the ball. To Lemons, who was in for the layup, but he's gonna draw a foul and shoot two free throws. That foul will be on Chayden Adams, his first foul, third team foul. Cole Lemons to the line, shoot two, has four points in the ball game. First free throw up and good. 32 to 26. Two minutes, 23 seconds left in the third quarter. Lemons pauses before he shoots his second free throw. Off to the right of the iron. Warriors chase it down in the corner. Falcons content to go back and set up a defense at half court. Pass over to the far side for a three-point shot up and good. Jacob Ray. Good defense by the Warriors. Falcons recover from it. Clayton with the ball, drives the free throw line, gives it in the corner to McMillan. McMillan back to Clayton. Clayton's going to drive. He gives it up to Austin, and that's what they did so well in the first half. Austin just missed that shot. Warriors come down with it, and they're going to push it down the court. It'll be a foul on Cole Lemons. going to be his fourth foul and the first team foul of the second half for the Falcons. Several substitutions in for the Warriors. Pass inside, nice little move. Bucket up and in. Ryan Lampkin, his eighth point of the ball game, 31-32, and just like that, the Warriors are right back in this ball game. Austin with the ball. Gives it to Lemons, to Clayton. Clayton drives, he puts the shot up, and good. Doss Clayton with his fourth point of the ball game. Falcons get that bucket and take the lead, 34-31, with just over a minute left in the third quarter. Three-point shot up, rattles around, no good. Falcons come down with it. Lemons is gonna draw a foul. Not sure who that foul was on. I believe it was on Jacob Ray. No, Evan, Evan Casey, sorry. Falcons get the ball down. Clayton goes in for the shot, has the ball knocked down. It's out on him. Just over 50 seconds left, Falcons leading 34-31. Falcons only have seven points in this third quarter. Foul on Jacob Meredith, his first foul, second team foul. Warriors setting their offense up, 40 seconds left to go in third quarter, long three point shot up, no good. Warriors come down with it. Have the ball in the corner, pass inside, ball goes on the floor. Austin comes down with it, he gives it up to Clayton. Clayton drives around his man, and he goes down the floor, gives it to Stewart. Stewart loses the handle on the ball. And it'll be a turnover for the Falcons. 22.8 seconds left in the third quarter. Warriors will inbound the ball. With a chance to tie it up with the three-pointer, or cut it to one with a two. 12 seconds left. 10 seconds. 
Warriors turn it over. Pass forward to Meredith. He goes in for the shot and he gets the bucket with .9 seconds left. He's got a chance to go for three. And there's gonna be a technical foul on the Warriors. All right, so the foul is on Evan Casey, his second. And that's gonna send Jacob Meredith to the line for the three-pointer. Three-point attempt. And it is good. And so now we're gonna have Ian Matt, his technical foul gave him his fifth foul. So Meredith is gonna go ahead and shoot these two. He misses the first one, it bounces off the backboard, no good. Second one. Is it 37-31? Is it 37-31? Is it 37 to 31? Long shot, no good. Spikens going to the half, 35-31, and we'll be back after, or that's end of the third quarter. We'll be back in a moment. All right, welcome back to the fourth quarter. We're going to score correction. It is 37-31 going into this fourth quarter. It'll be Ridgefield's ball. Right at the end of that third quarter, Ian Matt with the technical foul, which gave him his fifth personal foul, so he is out of the ball game. Warriors get their offense set. They're going to call a carry on that, that play and a turnover. Clayton with the ball, heavy defense on him. Ball goes on the floor, back on the floor again. Pass underneath to Stewart, he loses it. Save in bounds, ball's on the floor one more time. We're gonna have a tie up ball and it'll be Ridgefield's ball. Oh, nope, they're gonna, oh, I'm sorry, CRA's ball. Meredith inbound it to Austin. Austin takes a dribble towards the basket, puts the shot up, hits the side of the iron, no good. It's a good look, just couldn't follow through with it. Austin has 15 points in the ball game, but didn't have any in the third quarter. Ridgefield with the pass into the corner and a drive along the baseline, pull up. I'm gonna be fouled by Doss Clayton, I believe. Yes, that's his second personal foul, third team foul. That will send Luke Martin to the line to shoot two as the Warriors trail the Falcons 31-37 with five minutes and 22 seconds in the fourth quarter. First free throw up by Luke Martin is no good. Second free throw attempt by Martin. And off the side of, just hit the backboard so it'll be a turnover, Falcons ball. Meredith with the ball to inbounds it to Clayton. Warriors still with this full court press that's giving the Falcons some problems. But Clayton drives right past him. He dips it, gives it off to Stewart. Stewart has the ball knocked away from him, but a foul is going to be called on one of the Warriors. And that foul will be on Luke Martin, his third foul, and the sixth team foul. 
Going to send Justice Stewart to the line to shoot two. Stewart has six points in the ball game. He's two of six from the free throw line. He misses this first one. Falcons really need to hit these free throws so that they can extend this lead. And drills the second one with the first points of the, third, of the fourth quarter, 38-31. Falcons with the lead. Warriors with the ball at the top of the key. Back down offense and gives up a wide open pass to a Warrior that misses the shot. Meredith with the rebound. Warriors playing some heavy defense on him. He gives it up to Austin. Austin's right underneath the bucket and he puts that in for his 17th point of the ball game. Falcons lead 40 to 31. We look good on that. Saw the man open down court, gave it to him and he put it in. Austin's 17th point. Warriors with their offensive set on the far side. Pass in the corner, Falcons double teaming. They dribble around it. Pass inside, it's gonna be a foul on Justice Stewart as he reaches in trying to knock that ball away. That's his second foul and the fourth team foul. It'll be Warriors ball underneath the basket. In inbounds pass and Austin Good defense, and the ball goes out of bounds on the Warriors. The Falcons, Falcons ball in the corner. Tough place to inbound the ball with the Warriors playing a full court defense. Pass to McMillan. McMillan gives it up to Clayton. Clayton pushes it forward to Stewart. Stewart takes a dribble, puts it up, no good. Four minutes and 15 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Warriors getting an offensive set, and they're going to draw a foul on Jacob Meredith. His second foul, fifth team foul. The Warriors ball underneath the left side of their basket. Inbounds pass. Fadeaway jumper, no good. Austin with the rebound. He gives it up to Meredith. Meredith then gives it to Clayton, who will be able to set everything up for the Falcons. Just under four minutes left to go in this fourth quarter. Meredith with the ball. He drives in, kicks it back out to Stewart, who then gets it to McMillan at the top of the key. Clayton has the ball taken away from him. Warriors drive it down. Pull up jumper, no good. Ball is going to be on the floor. Several people after it. Warriors going to get a timeout. It's going to be a full timeout. Three minutes and 33 seconds left. In this fourth quarter, and we'll be back in a moment. Three minutes and 33 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Falcons leading 40-31. Warriors with the ball to inbounds. Picked up at half court. He's going to step back over the line. Come in over and back. Turnover. Falcons with good defense on that inbounds pass. Forces the turnover. Pass to Clayton. Takes it down in the corner. He looks, gives it to McMillan. He gives it to Meredith. Back to Stewart underneath, he takes it in. Misses the shot, Warriors come down with the rebound. And they turn the ball over, lose the handle and it goes out of bounds, be Falcons ball. Lemons into the ball game for Meredith. 
pass to Stewart. He gives it up to Clayton. Good look. Clayton's going to drive it down. He passes to Austin. Austin puts the shot up. No good. Warriors come down with that rebound. Ball's on the floor. Several people hustling for it, but they're going to call foul, I believe, on that. Hayden Austin with his first foul, sixth team foul. Good hustle play. It's okay to pick up a foul there. Warriors inbound the ball across the midcourt. Under three minutes left to go in the ball game. Pass inside, Austin knocks it away. Pass back inside, Austin playing some good defense. Missed shot, Austin had the ball, he dove for it again. Now Clayton picks it up, takes it away from the Warriors, and he's going to drive it down. Ball's going to be knocked away from him. Warriors come down with it, and they push it down floor. And they're going to put a shot up, and it's going to be a foul on Hayden Austin, his second foul, seventh team foul. That's going to send the Warriors to the line to shoot two. Brian Lampkin to the line to shoot two. He has eight points in the ball game, 40 to 31. First free throw, no good. Second free throw up. It rattles around and drops in 32 to 40. Nice pass, look underneath to Stewart, Clayton to Stewart. Stewart gets his ninth point of the ball game. 42 to 32 with just over two minutes left. Pass into the corner for the Warriors. And then extra step there and a turnover. Lemons to inbound the ball. Warriors still with the full court press. Clayton with the ball, he's gonna cross half court. He's gonna to look to go all the way in. Ball's knocked away from him. Warriors come down with it. They push it down forward. They don't have the numbers, but take it all the way to the basket. And Ryan Lampkin scores. He's 11th point, 34 to 42, minute and 30 seconds left. Be a foul. Jacob Ray. And that's going to send Doss Clayton to the line to shoot a one and one. He has four points in the ball game. He's done really well handling the ball for the Falcons and getting it down court against this press. First free throw rattles around and drops in is good for his fifth point. 43-34. Second free throw will be upcoming. And it is good. Doss Clayton getting both of those free throws for his sixth point in the ball game. Warriors trailing by 10. They drive the ball in, give it up. Lose the handle on it. Ball goes on the floor once again. You know, call a walk. Hustle play. I don't like that they call that a walk. It's a hustle play to me. If he gets up, call the walk. If he's down on the floor with it, don't call anything. I'm not sure that's purpose of that rule. Cross-court pass by the Warriors, a drive in and put up and in. Ryan Lampkin with another bucket inside, 36-44 with a minute and 10 seconds left. Jackson Ray is going to foul out of the ball game with his fifth foul. Should be his fifth foul, yes. And that is going to send Clayton to the line to shoot two more free throws. Sorry, it'll be a one and one.
free throw is missed. Justice Stewart picks up a foul. That's going to send the Warriors down to shoot one and one. Falcons leading by eight with just over a minute left to go in the ball game. Luke Martin to shoot one and one. He's one of four in the free throw, the free throw line, and he hits that one. Second free throw up, and it's good. Warriors put the shot up, no good. And they're going to go back to the free throw line. And then foul. Justice Stewart with his fourth foul, not team foul. Luke Martin to the line. He's hit three free throws in a row. And the Falcons are going to call a timeout. We'll be back in a moment.
Welcome to the Falcons Nest tonight for this final game of the night. CRA Senior Falcons versus the Ridgefield Warriors. Falcons are going to be shorthanded tonight as Jesse Ballou is out with an arm injury. Is that correct? It is. He should be back uh, after Christmas. I think. Uh, I don't think it's so serious that he won't be back soon, but uh, I think he'll be back. I asked him if he'd back, be back for the Memphis game, and he said yes. So Okay, good. Falcons will be playing uh, at the FedEx Forum on uh, New Year's Eve against the Southland Rebels. Anybody wants to go over there and see that game, your ticket will allow you to come back later in the night to see the Grizzlies play a game. So That's exciting times. I've, I've heard a lot of good things, a lot of people going to that. So we've already played Southland this year, uh, did a pretty good number on them. So uh, be a good way to end this year, I think. Falcons get the tip to start the ball game. <clears throat> Blankenship with the ball, gets it back out to Summit. Summit with cross-court pass inside to Oxley. He has nothing there, gets it back out to Marshall. Marshall pulls three-pointer shot, no good. Interesting to see how this goes. Jesse kind of leads his team out there on the court a little bit, and uh, somebody's going to have to pick it up tonight and take charge out on the court. Ridgefield with the pass inside, back in for the shot, and good. Noah Strasener, Strasener, I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Strasner, there Strasner. was a line of Strasner's back Strasner. when I was in business. That Strasner, was all right, yeah, Strasner. We'll, we'll go with that. I'm sorry I didn't get the pronunciation <laughs> before the game started. <laughs> pass inside again, shot put up, no good. Now with the rebound, and good. they're going to have a foul right. on Strasner. Now, this team looks young. I don't have their uh, years in front of me here, but uh, just looking at their faces and physiques, they're, they're looking like a 10th, 11th grade team here. Blinking ship to set the offense for the Falcons, gives it up to Elms. Back to Blinking ship. Pass inside, just over the head of Elms, turnover. And looks like we're playing a little man. We're playing man to man. I thought it was going to be match up zone, but it's man to man right now. That's going to be their offense right there all yep. night long. First yep. three possessions they've given a ten twice. He has four points. Yeah, our last uh, last game that I called out here, the lefty was scored most of his points inside. We'd, this is going to be a similar thing. It looks like unless we can put a stop to it. Elms back out <clears> to the top of the key. Once again, Marshall with the three-point shot up, off the high, off the backboard, no good. Elms comes down with it, he goes up, he puts it in. There you go. Yeah, we're gonna need a big game from Jace tonight. I think it's in him, he looks uh, looks strong out there tonight. And he's, if he's long as he can stay out of foul trouble. If they're gonna take it to him all night, he's gonna have to be careful. Yep. Yeah, if their big guy getting foul trouble, uh, if uh, Jace keeps taking it to him too. Then big guy steps out for three-point yeah. shot, no good. Blankenship with the rebound. He may be their scoring. He's their inside guy. Looks like an outside guy now, too. We're two times we've thrown it over his head there. But it, off the backboard, back up. Get up. Oh. Oh. It's a little hard off the angle. Yep. Five and a half minutes left. Falcons trailing four to two. Archer to set the offense for the Warriors. Summit out to pick him up. Yeah, Luke's playing a little bit off his man. He usually gets up in their grill a little bit. And there but, he uh, steps forward on him. But he knows uh, he can't, can't get in foul trouble. We only have one tonight. man on the bench. Yeah. Yeah. Elm's going to draw that first foul. I just heard their, overheard their coach say that's what they've got to do is pick up the fouls on Elms. Yep. Yeah. We don't have anybody that can match up. Yeah, Jace doesn't need to get a foul out there at the three-point line. That's what he just did. Um, if you're going to get any fouls, you're going to need to do that inside. And only if there's no other. There we go. Sam Marshall with the breakaway steal. Takes it out and puts it down. It's a nice play. Found it's tied up four to four early on in this ball game. Hey, 
Luke Summit with the kick. Good defense. Reset the offense for, for the Warriors underneath the basket. Uh, so Strassner is their guy, so he's yeah. their... Strassner's their big player. He's he's already taken a three, and he's made a couple of buckets underneath. He's, he's a pretty good-sized boy. Looks young, but uh, I doubt he's a senior, but uh, he's definitely who they're looking for tonight. And they get the ball to him, turn around jumper. No good. Marshall comes down with it. He's gonna push it down. He gives it up to Blankenship. He looks to set the offense, give it up back to Marshall. Marshall to Oxley. Pass to Elms, hit at his feet and taken away by the Warriors. You can tell uh, Coach Clothier was pushing tonight to get the ball into Jace and they're trying to do that, but they're forcing it a little bit too hard right now, going high over his head and going a little bit too low to, there was a give and go. Mm. Every foul called on us tonight, their coach is gonna get a little bit uh, giddy about that. They're, uh, they get us in any kind of foul trouble with in this first quarter, we're gonna be in trouble. Luke, Luke Summit with that foul. And that sends Matt McAdams to the line who misses the first of two free throws. But we had a lane violation way away from the ball. And so that's gonna give him two more shots. Players didn't realize what the official was doing. And here comes the two, uh, the three to make two. Three to make, three to make one. <laughs> three to make one. <laughs> and he misses all misses three. Blanket ship pushes it down floor, ball knocked out of bounds by the Warriors. We need to slow it down. I've always wondered that about high school basketball without having a shot clock, why you always seem like you're in a hurry to get the shot. Now you don't want to, handle it too much because it might get picked off, but there's also no reason to, to rush to, your shot. Right, to take anything bad. Oh, wow, well, that's a far away. That's, it is. That's, is that his second? His second foul. Yes. That is his second foul. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's their offense so far in the ball game, yeah. and he picked up a second foul on the three-point line. He's taken all their shots except for one tonight, yeah. and besides what's at the free throw line. So we get him in trouble. We, we should be okay. Just – Early look, early gauge here. I, I think we're a better team than what they are as long as we play smart. Got Oxley out. drives the baseline, gives it up to Summit, who gives it to Blankenship for a three-point shot, just rolls around, no good. Elms reaches over and grabs the rebound, gives it back to Summit. Jay's, gives it to Marshall, back Jay, to Jay's playing with a little extra ump tonight. He is, a nice turnaround jumper. Jace Elms with his fourth point of the ball game. Yeah, Six can, to four, Falcons lead. He can keep that up for four quarters. It'll be, it'll be something... Uh, to see, and that, he's kind of run out of gas here in games past, and I uh, hope he can keep that up because he's playing really well. You just got to make sure he doesn't pick up any fouls. Long three-point shot, Ooh. good. Yeah. Will Archer, yep, smallest. I, I'm pretty sure I remember his dad being a pretty good three-point shooter back in the day because I see him on the bench yeah, over tells there. Tells you how old so, we are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, remember, I, I, I know what you're saying. <laughs> he was a good, good player in his day. Summit with the ball at the top of the key, he looks to drive in. He's got defenders on him and he turns the ball over but knocks it away. Goes out on Luke Summit so the Warriors will get the ball. We look a little windy. We're playing a pretty fast pace, especially on offense. He just walked there. It looked like he took a step or two. Maybe he's quicker than my eyes. Oh, Elm's Chase. gonna pick up his second foul. Mm. Both big men in the ball game have two fouls. That's the second foul on him, third team foul. Yeah, he, he needs to let his other players pick up the defensive end. He needs to put his energy into rebounding and, and uh, shooting on offense. Oh, Summit knocked the ball out of bounds. Yeah, Luke was lucky there. He didn't get, get a foul call. He didn't foul, but the way he went after that was not, not a good thing. Yeah, they look a little lost. Richfield doesn't look like with that, with the Strauss out of the game. That a boy. Nice defense by Oxley. Cole Oxley knocks it away. Yep, picked up a steal there. He did that last couple games. He's been playing some really kind of uh, under the radar defense where he's tipping the ball and we end up with it. 
Falcons trying to figure out who their scorer is going to be in the ball game. Summit turns that over. Warriors have the numbers. And they go in for the layup. Matt McAdams, two points. Falcons are going to call a 30-second timeout as they trail 6-9. to nine. It can be a 30-second timeout. I'm, I'm sure Coach Clovier is probably going to try to slow things down on offense a little bit. We're trying to push it just a little too much, getting a little too assertive out away from the basket on the defensive end, and those are two things. If we can control those, I think we'll be, we'll be the better team tonight. Officials are doing a good job. They're not overly calling. They're not uh, uh, missing calls. So recognize all three of these guys. They've been here uh, over the years. And been doing it a while. Yep, they're a veteran, veteran group. So Falcons with the ball, trailing six to nine. They gotta have a bucket. This possession, Blankenship to set the offense up. Yeah, we haven't really got a rhythm. We've gotten a, gotten a couple of shots off of rebounds, but we really haven't set up an offensive play where kind of hit and cut. And hey, Marshall. Sam looked good on that one. You could tell he got his feet set and uh, straight on, had his shoulders right at the basket. And his fifth point in the ball game, he may have to be the one to carry, especially with Jace out of the he ball may. game right now. Penetration drive in. Oh, nice. Oh, Jace back in the ball game. I missed that. And yeah. He got a, a block. We have a jump ball. Yeah, if he's going to get fouls, it needs to be in the paint tonight. So he needs to keep his aggressiveness down low. And he needs to back off till after the half. He doesn't. He's just two fouls with a minute and a half to go in the first quarter. It's not a good sign. Three point shot. It's the second three point shot. Yeah, he's Will not, Archer. Yeah, he's not a big kid, but uh, we've left him wide open. There's not even been a hand in his face either time. So uh, he's a pure shooter. Officials conferring. Should be a tip. Oh, they're going to talk about it. I couldn't tell if, we, couldn't if they tipped it or not. Yeah, they're basing that on uh, Berkeley said that it was tipped, so. <laughs> he asked for it. Falcons throwing 12 to 9 with a minute and 13 seconds left as officials try to figure out whose ball it is. Looks like it's going to be CRA's ball as it was tipped out of bounds. Falcons get a little bit of a break there. Yeah, their coaches are not happy about that. That wasn't something they did on their own. One of our players is the one that uh, brought that up, so I don't. <laughs> Tight walk, the half court stripe. Yep. Summit with the ball. He drives around on the far side, back to Blankenship. Falcons are still trying to figure out how they're going to get a good offensive set. Under a minute left in the first quarter. Marshall with the ball. He's got five points in the game. He drives in, puts a shot up. No good. Elms with the rebound, comes down with it. Jace comes down awful awkward when he gets those rebounds. He's going to get hurt doing that sometime. There it is. Blankenship with the three point shot. And drops in. Oh, there's that home court roll right there. We'll take it. Right, Soft ladies. rim roll. Yep. 33 seconds left in the first quarter. Warriors with the ball drive oh. in, and Jace is going to get his third foul. Jace was trying to knock that ball out of the gym. He's not going to help us at all on the bench, and he's going to have to be there probably for the rest of this half. Toss um, McDaniel to the line. Chance for the old-fashioned three-point play. Mm. Latham was coming in right there. I'm not sure if he's coming in for Jace or not, but that was about. No, nope, he didn't. He didn't. Jace stay in the ball game. He's going to have to be super careful. I'm not sure what our strategy is here. Something Marshall had to go to the locker room. Yep. 15 to 12. Yeah, we need to score here and uh, just one shot and be happy to be out of this uh, quarter with, without uh, being behind. 15 seconds left. Summit turns the ball over. Archer with the ball for the Warriors. He pushes it down. Yeah, can't leave him open Eight for seconds. shot. They're going to be looking for him. Three-point shot. Good. Doss McDaniel. Warriors going to end the first quarter with the lead, 18 to 12, and we'll be back in a moment.
All right, welcome back to the uh, second quarter. Falcons trailing 18 to 12. Falcons in a little bit of foul trouble with Jace Elms with three fouls. Warriors pushing the defense out against the Falcons. Drive in. Oh. Oxley, no good. I'd like to see Cole do more of that. He, he missed the basket, but it was oh so close, and uh, he's got the, the skills to do that. He needs to do that more. Don't foul, Jace. Pass inside. Drive to the basket. Elms with the block shot. He's going to take it to full length of the floor and go in for the layup. He hits the shot and draws the foul. Matt McAdams with his first foul in the ball game. Jay Sims with his sixth point and goes to the free throw line. Chance for a three-point play as Falcons trail 18-14. Free throw is up. Off the iron, no good. Warriors come down with the rebound. Jay's playing a good game tonight, but he, probably two of his fouls were ill-advised. He's rebounding well. He's putting the bat, ball back up in the bucket. Just a little overly aggressive right now when you're down to, when you have six players to start with, that's not a good way to do it. Oxley pulls up from the three-pointer, no good. Warriors come down with it. They look to push the ball down the floor and drive into the basket. They're going to call a block on Luke Summit, his second foul. Fifth team foul for the Falcons. Warriors will inbound the ball underneath their basket. Pass to the top of the key off the inbounds. Ball knocked away, but picked back up by the Warriors. Falcons knock it away, but the Warriors come down with it. Side winding shot, no good. Can't say I've seen a shot quite like that this year <laughs> yet. I would, wouldn't call it a hook shot. Nope. Didn't look anything like the uh, Magic Johnson and uh, Kareem shots of old, but um, did not serve him very well either tonight. Summit has the ball knocked away from him, ball on the floor. Falcons diving for it. They're going to call a walk. Nope, they're going to call a timeout. Okay. Should be our second 30 second. Yeah, about to get a little wild right there. Six, a little over six minutes left to go. Falcons really, both teams really struggling for an offense, but Falcons trailing 18-14. Falcons have the only two points of this quarter. Yeah. Not much of a rhythm tonight on either on either team. They started with one. Uh, Ridgefield did. We we just really haven't found a rhythm on our offense. We're just kind of we're missing it. We're getting a rebound, maybe putting it back up and in. Got a couple of breakaway layups so far tonight. But it'd be nice to see some some pick and rolls when they're playing man to man. You've got to set picks to open guys up. That's just uh, they've got to establish that on their offense. Maybe pick up some charges in the meantime. <clears throat> Blankenship is taking the reins to start the offense for the Falcons tonight. He gets it set every possession. Filling in for Jesse Below, who's out with the injury. Pass inside, knocked away and out of bounds with Falcons ball on the baseline. Marshall back, whatever sent him to the locker room. He's back and ready to come in so Jace can go to the bench and get a breather and also keep him protected for the fouls. Inbounds pass. Blankenship's going to drive to the basket nice and puts play. it up and in. Yeah. Now their official just uh, telling Coach Clothier that uh, Berkeley's carrying the he's ball. He's carrying the ball, yeah. Got to be careful not to do that. They're, 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 I'm guessing they're, that looks like a walk right they there. They called it two or three times in junior high, so I think they're looking for that. Right. Doss McDaniel with his eighth point in the ball game. His Warriors lead 20 to 16. That has changed a lot over the years. They used to never let you do anything close to that. Now you can just. I, I don't know why they even point. make that call. It doesn't even make any sense to me. It doesn't give the player an advantage no. by any means that he palms the ball or moves it around. 
See, Luke was stuck in the corner right there and was looking for a way out, and there was nobody underneath for him to get that ball to. When he gets in trouble like that, there would have been a perfect out and a scoring opportunity had they done that. But you got to, you got to, when you don't have the ball, you got to be looking to get to a place that uh, will help your team out. And we didn't do that right there. Warriors with the ball in the lead. Pass to the far side. Now pass inside. They kick it back out top of the key and a drive down the lane. Uh, Michael Carl puts that in for Too a layup. Easy. Too easy. 22 to 16. <clears throat> Falcons have to score here to keep it close. Yeah, this game could get out of hand. We got right back in it there at the end of the first quarter. Even down in numbers tonight, we should be able to play with this team. There's a nice pass inside. Looked like uh, Cole got his hand slapped, but didn't call anything. Warriors take it to full length of the floor and put the shot up. No good. Going to be a foul on Berkeley Blankenship. His first foul, the sixth team foul. But the Warriors go to the line to shoot two. Doss McDaniel, who has eight points in the ball game, will shoot two free throws for Ridgefield. He's two of two from the free throw line. 23-16. And he'll get his second free throw. And it's also good with 10 points for Doss McDaniel. Now we need to stop the bleeding right here. We've not, uh, what have we scored? Have we scored any in this quarter? We have four Just points. Four points this quarter. They've scored six. Now we need to prove we can oh, get off his foot. Okay. Layup, no good. Hustle play by the Falcons. Nathan pass Berkeley down court one. to Summit. Summit's going to try to get a layup. He stutter steps. Oh! Almost over it's hustled getting, right getting, there. Getting ugly. Yeah, it is. Cross court pass. Blanket chip drives in. Little jumper off the backboard. No good. He's got a nice looking shot, but just not falling tonight. Turn around jumper. No good. Three point yeah. wide open shot. Yep. He's so missed he's his last couple of ones. After hitting his first two, he's missed two in a row now. Pass to Summit just over his head. We've got to slow it down. We're tired. Forcing things. We can't force things when we're tired and in foul trouble either. So we just need to slow it down. Three minutes and 20. Yeah, we've got to get to the halftime and be close in the ball game. Yep. And the more possessions they have, he's going to call the carry on them. He's going to call it on us too in a minute. Yep. I can guarantee it. Yeah. He's been looking, he called it in the junior high game. He's going to be looking for it. Yep. Substitution for the Warriors. I still don't understand the carry, why that's even a call. Uh, I mean, if it, if it gets over exaggerated, I understand it a little bit. But, but what does it, what advantage yeah. does it give the nice play right there? Sam, Sam Marshall with a nice. Layup, go seventh point of the ball game. Go to baseline, reversed it. They leave that lane open. He needs to do that. We need more aggressive moves like that. I think that'll pull them out from their tight defense a little bit, and they'll have to help each other out. We're definitely shorter than them right now with our lineup. They've got a couple of players bigger than three yep. of our players. Yep. So. Pass inside, and it's going to be the third foul on Luke Summit. And the seventh team foul, and that's going to send one of the Warriors to the line to shoot a one and one. Unless this game slows down, and it has no indication that that's going to happen, unless it slows down. We're not going to finish with five players gonna, on the floor. Not, not going to happen. <laughs> not going to happen. They've got to know that. I mean. Evan Massey with his first of the one and one hits it 25 to 18. You know, when I played and I knew I was in foul trouble, well, the last thing I wanted to do was go over to the bench. So. You had to back off a little, then you did it. That was an over the back right there. Blanket shift under. That's I, I'm not a fan of that official under there not calling the first foul and nope. then calling the second no. one. No, if you're gonna let one go, you gotta let the other one go. And that's two fouls on Berkeley Blankenship. We're gonna get. Uh, he's wanting a 30 second, but we don't have 30 second. He's gonna call his third timeout. Yeah, that hurt right there. <clears throat> I think that one was, the officials done a good job tonight. They've, uh, I think he missed that one right there, which 
if I'm out there calling, I probably miss a whole lot more than what these guys are doing. They're pretty good at their jobs. And so that was. He didn't have a 30 second. All right, so it's full timeout. We knew it was full timeout. You might have been the only one in the gym that knew that, David. <laughs> their, their scorekeeper knew it was. <laughs> it's okay. But I've kept I kept scorebook for ten years for us, or eleven years for us out here at CRA. So there you go. This is uh, this is my thing. I like doing it, hey, and it also helps me keep up with what's going on in the ball game. I know how many points everybody has, how many fouls everybody has, the timeout. So the question is, when you go to the Cardinal baseball games, do you keep the? Ball? I used to whenever I was younger. Right. It's been a while since I've been to ball game, but I'll keep it at home sometimes just right. for the fun of it. Yeah. I enjoy it. I like to know the statistics as they're going along, but in this day and age, you don't even have to do anything. The statistics run across the bottom Yo, of the screen on TV or out in the outfield at a live game. Tell you what they had for dinner. And oh, I know it. <clears throat> and I know in college basketball right now, they have instant statistics that's available on the bench on the, uh, for each team. So they know exactly who has taken what shots, how many times. Right. I mean, it's instant. Yep, they yep. just they can pull up a person's number on a computer and look. And it's amazing what technology has yep. added to the to yep. the game of basketball, and it allows these coaches to know as the game goes along. Well, they're just putting a little What's so going soft full court press on us right now. Let's see how we handle that. Their junior high team it? pressed the whole ball game. And Falcons turned it over, pushed down court. They no, took he a couple walked. extra steps. But they gave it back to us on an out of bounds. <laughs> yeah, most, there's a lot of teams pressing this year. I think that's kind of a go-to thing. It's never hurts to try to see if uh, if it affects that team or not. Usually, a team only has one ball handler, in this, and and then if you get it out of that ball handler's hands, the turnovers will rack up. Marshall with the three-point shot. He was wide open, just went over the iron. And out of bounds. Two minutes, 12 seconds left in the first half. Falcons trailing 18 to 26. Struggling to find an offensive rhythm. We've got a water bottle that's rolling across the floor. Referee gets that, picks it up. Did he make that? He missed no, it. No, he, he missed it. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Soft jumper by the official, and he missed it on the sideline. In his defense, it was a full trash can. So. <laughs> All right, Warriors with the ball, 26-18. Pass inside. Brinkley yeah. with good defense, but yeah, Strasner kid's pretty good underneath. He hasn't missed much inside once he gets it in there. This Back in trail ten. This game's gonna get away from us. We need to cut it to six for this half. Brinkley's gonna call for the walk. Just a little bit of the drag of the back foot. The ball was over his head when he reached up for it. He just wasn't able to keep his feet still. Nope. <clears throat> That's where we're missing Jesse. Not only his scoring and his. Uh, defense in his size, but he's our best ball handler as well. Double team underneath, trying to play that well. They're open in the corner for a three-point shot. No good. Brinkley with that rebound. He played good defense on that possession, then got the rebound. Oh, give nice and go, play. nice play. Nice play. Sam Marshall with his ninth point of the ball game. Cole Oxley with the assist right there. That was a quick pass. I'd like to see more of that. It's the first time we have really saw something that looked like we were planning to do that. You know, that's what we were doing with Jesse Ballou at the last ball yes. game. He would yeah. give and go, and we've got the guys that can do that. We've just not done a long, long three-pointer yep. by the Warriors. They miss. Yeah, that was Frankly, with another rebound. Strassner over Lathan's back right there. That could have been called. That would have been his third foul. Pass inside to Brinkley. He oh, makes a move and kicks I'd it like, back yeah, out. Like he goes to, to the corner. Shot no good, hustle play, ball goes on the floor, but the Warriors come in with 40 seconds left to go in the half. Yeah, Falcons like trailing 28-20. If I were the Warriors, I'd hold for the last yeah. shot. Yeah, that doesn't look like they're in here. Yep, now they're calling, coach is calling them back out a little bit. Yeah, I'd like to see Lathan take that shot down low last time. Drive in, gonna draw a foul. Sam Marshall, just his first. 19 foul, but we'll be shooting two, Will Archer. He has six points on the ball game with two three-pointers. 25 seconds left. He gets the first one, 29-20. 
Second one up, no good. Brinkley with another rebound. Gives it to Blankenship. They're gonna, with a three-quarter press with 19 seconds left. Falcons beat it. Oxley was driving down underneath the basket, no good, but Brinkley with the rebound, and he gets fouled on the putback. I like how Latham went up strong right there. That's, uh, he's big in there, takes up some space, and uh, I think we could score some points with him down low like that. He's gonna use, he uses his body well. Yeah, <clears throat> he should be shooting two, then he steps to the line. To shoot these two with the Falcons showing 29-20, there's two big free throws, and then a good defensive set before the half would really help the Falcons yeah. out. First one is good. We can cut it to seven and keep them from scoring before the half. That's the best we can ask yep, for. Yeah, got to keep it out of uh, their back, the point guard's hands and from underneath. No good. Eight seconds left into the corner for a three-point shot. He's already hit one and he hits another one. Doss McDaniel with the three-pointer. That's about as bad as it could end for the Falcons in the first half. As the Falcons go in trailing 32 to 21, and we'll be back at the end of the half.
Welcome to the second half of the ball game, senior high game. Falcons trailing 32-21, didn't end the half the way that they wanted to. Dealing with a little bit of foul trouble also. Let's see if we can get back into this ball game early. Pass underneath, Warriors kick it back. Here we go. Nice. <clears throat> We picked it up, we didn't turn it over, and now we're bringing it down the floor. I was afraid yep. he was going to call a walk on him as yep. he was trying to pick the ball up. Long three-point shot, no good. We'll go good Lincoln offense. Ship with the rebound. Yeah, we need to we need to <clears throat> turn this game around quick, and that's not how you do it, throwing it across court like that. Intercepted pass. Pass underneath. Oh, give and go, or mm. stepped right out of back. Easy basket. I think <laughs> he everybody was expecting his guy to make the shot. Yep, and he it, gave it up. Everybody on the in the uh, gym tonight thought that guy was going to shoot it, and he passed it. <clears throat> Pass inside to Elms. Elms turns around with a nice little move, yeah. puts it over the front of the iron, and good. Did a little 360 turn right there. It's a difficult shot. We need to get back in this game and then maybe slow it down a little bit. I was just uh, talking with some gentleman tonight just how there's no shot clock in a high school game. Don't get in there. Got an N1 coming up here for them. <clears throat> Sam Marshall with his second foul. Doss McDaniel to the line. Yeah, he's got a nice looking Seven, 17 points for him. Yeah, quiet. Falcons turn it over. He's got the ball again. McDaniel goes in for the, he gets it. Well, what we were hoping would happen for us is happening for them. Oh, wow. It's a one man show this quarter. What's he got already? That's two, four, six, seven points and going to the line with a minute. A little more than a minute gone in the game, and he's already got seven points in this half, kind of single-handedly taking it to us. <clears throat> he nails that one. 40 to 23, just like that. They're full court pressing us. We don't have anybody down. We ought to be able to easily get a layup out of this. Get in there. Called that foul from the other end of the gym. <laughs> Will Archer with that. Yeah. Foul, his first, first team. Luke Summit to the line to shoot two. Off the side of the iron, no good. Well, we knew we were going to have to get some scoring from somebody other than Jesse tonight, and it really just hasn't shown itself. Both free throws missed. <clears throat> Richfield working the ball really well. We've got to stay on our feet a little more. Almost a turnover. Yep. Pass into the corner. Oxley to oh. Elms. Elms couldn't turn around. He's going to drive in. He's going to put the shot up and he's going to draw a foul. But he should have looked. As soon as he got that pass, he had a shot. Turn to the right. Yep. Matt McAdams. His second, second team, Elms to the line to shoot two. Off the front of the iron, no good. Baggage trailing by 17 just quickly into this third quarter. Missed both free throws. Baggage come down with the rebound. Cole Oxley with the rebound, went back up with it, got fouled. <clears throat> Michael Carl with his second, third team. Oxley scoreless in the ball game. Gets a chance to get on the board right here. Misses his first free throw. Second free throw, no good. Struggle from the line. We've missed six free throws in this quarter. Yeah, can't do that when you're down 17. <clears throat> Game got off to a promising start. They had some good plays, but so did we. Thought we'd stay with them. They've kind of gotten in a rhythm that we failed to, to find tonight. Strassman with that basket makes it 42-23. We've got to be careful not to get 
mercy ruled in this ball game the way it's going. Yep. Good pass underneath Elms with the bucket. A little helter skelter on uh, Ridgefield's part right there on defense. They didn't uh, set up very well. Promptly come down and hit a three pointer. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't like just the regular three pointer. He likes the NBA three pointers, but he's. I wouldn't leave him open. He's probably three, three for five tonight, maybe on those. Yes. <clears throat> That foul was on Doss McDaniel, but it's just his first foul. He's got 20 points on the ball game. No, 22 points, I'm sorry. Blankenship taking it down court to the baseline. Gives it up. Oxley with a nice layup. Yeah, we need to see a little bit more of that. Berkeley took charge right there and uh, was looking for someone to cut. And then when Cole did, he got it to him, and uh, Cole promptly put it in. Long three-pointer. They just they can hit whatever they want to right now. 48-27. Yep. Oh, he just carried, carried ball. Yep. <clears throat> carried, walk, whatever they want to call. Yeah, Berkeley's still trying to get his playing shoes on here. He hadn't, didn't get to play very much of the uh, first half of the season. Yeah, so he's it's taking him a little time. Second half, he should open it up. Maybe we'll get healthy here. Quick three-pointer, no good. Summit down with the rebound. He's going to be bumped and call the foul. And that's going to be McAdams' third foul, fifth team foul. Four minutes, 20 sec 26 seconds in the third quarter. Falcons trailing 48-27. Warriors with a full court press. Yeah, we're going to have to be more efficient. They're actually be helping us out a little they, bit by yeah. full court pressing if we can turn that into quick points, but we're not doing we that. We would have the numbers underneath. Yeah. Here we go, Cole oh, twice two, in a row. Two in a row. Four points, I've Cole said Oxley. It, said it all along, Cole's got, Cole's kind of a little shy out there on the court, but when he can, when he turns the aggressive on, he's got the skills to wow. to be a scorer. Yeah, they're shooting, uh, Richfield's shooting percentage is half as. Excellent. Unbelievable. Hard to get back in the game when they're not missing. Nice little move, yeah. Sam Marshall. Yeah. It's his 11th point of the ball game. Yeah, if I'm Ridgefield, I'm not in a hurry to score, but they, uh, they're they they're playing as if there's a shot clock. and Maybe they don't want to just beat us. They want to beat us pretty good. I don't know. Well, sometimes whenever you pull it out, it, uh, you start making mistakes. Blankenship driving in for the layup. Went end to end on that one. Nobody's getting in his way. I will say, Bridgefield's backing off a little bit at the basket, so we should take advantage of that. We're going to have to score early and often on our possessions here in order to get back in this ball game. 50 to 33. Warriors with the lead. I've seen it too much in high school basketball that. Uh, the momentum can switch so fast, and just when you think you've got a team beat, they're back in it. Nice move by yeah. Helms. If we'd have done a little bit of that when we were down by six or seven, we'd been okay. But uh, that's his 12th point of the ball game, <clears throat> 50 to 35. And just get two points at a time, play yep. some defense, and get right back in it. Uh, that was a little cheap foul called on Cole right there. It's his second foul, second team, <clears throat> uh, third team, I'm sorry. Jace a little winded right now. They're going to give him some air. He's had a pretty good game tonight. He just had his uh, fouls have kept him off the court. But when he's been on the court, he's been done a good job defensively and offensively. Just some needless fouls in there. <clears throat> Hop, step, pass. Kicked back out. And a drive in the line. I'm going to call three seconds. Could have picked two different players to call that on. <laughs> I still don't understand that call either. Really. Mm -hmm. But he never left the lane. Falcons turn it over just like that. Strassman with the ball underneath. He goes up strong, puts that in. Yeah, he's going to be a good player. I still think I, I would. I would 15 points for him. Yeah, I bet he's only a 10th, 11th grader. He's got him. Another year or two left in him, he's going to get better. Pass underneath, knocked out of bounds. The Falcons ball underneath their own bucket, underneath two minutes left to go in the third quarter. Trailing 52 to 35. 
I mean, this is the most points we've scored in a in a quarter of this ball game, but we gave up the most points we've scored. Brinkley with a nice move to the basket, and he puts that in. Yeah, offensively, we've actually looked pretty good. They're uh, Ridgefield not playing as tight a defense as they were, but we're taking advantage of that, which is what you're supposed to do. I think we're just worn out. That's going to be the third foul on Sam Marshall. Fourth team foul. It's going to send Doss McDaniel to the line to shoot two. <clears throat> he has 22 points in the ball game, leading scorer for the Warriors. Yeah, he didn't. He doesn't uh, touch the rim very much with his no, with no. his shots. He's, he's mostly net. Got a good looking free throw. Uses his legs. Good follow through. Eight of nine from the free throw line. <clears throat> nine of ten. They take that any night. <laughs> yep. I imagine their coach will probably single that out when they talk about this game tomorrow. Oh. Foul Will Archer, his second 16 foul. Just uh -huh. Latham Brinkley to the line to shoot two. First one is good. Yes. He has four points in the ball game. Somehow we can cut this down to 12 going in the fourth quarter. There's a little light there that you can take advantage of. They're going to call over the front, over the line so he misses. Yeah, Latham, Even they hit the free throw, but he stepped over the line before he got to the rim. Latham thought he was going to miss that one, he was going to go get that rebound. 54-38, Falcons trailing. That's going to be the third foul on Cole Oxley. Fifth team foul. Yeah, it's getting a little sloppy, which we're taking advantage of that. They, they are too this quarter. I mean, the third quarter has been the highest scoring for both teams here. Um, <clears throat> some good teamwork by Ridgefield inside. Oh. <clears throat> getting clustered underneath there. Somebody going to get hurt. There's a foul on. Latham Brinkley, his first 16 foul. This is Matt McAdams to the line to shoot two. First one is good, 55-38. Second one is good also. 56 to 38. Minute, 12 seconds left in the third quarter. Oh, shove from behind. And a foul on Michael Carr, his third. The one and one for Lathan. Yeah, the worst thing that uh, Ridgefield can do right here is stop the clock. So I'm their coach, I'm slowing that down a little bit. Free throw, no good. It's going to be out on the yeah. Yes, out on the CRE. <clears throat> Falcons are one of nine from the free throw line in this quarter. Yeah, you put those eight points in there, it makes a 10 point game. It's With two of 12 in the ball game. Right. And yeah, that's a difference maker. They're making them and we're not. All right. oh. oh, hard pass right off the head. Right off Luke the Summit, he didn't have a chance to react. No. He's, he's taking one in the noggin quite a bit yeah, this season. he took season. that one off the nose. He's had enough happen with that this, this uh, year. Yeah, Twi twice earlier. Yeah, Berkeley pulled up his dribble. Never, ever, ever stop your dribble unless you know you've got something else to do with the ball. You stop it, your options are limited. Summit with the ball. He's going to pull it back out. Put 22 seconds left. Has the ball taken away from him. They're going to call foul on him. Yep, too Summit's much. going to pick his fourth foul up. Yeah, that was a frustration foul. He's doing, doing a little bit too much dribbling. Right and there. they're going to shoot one and one. we got a lot of fouls and a lot of players. Yep. <clears throat> it's been a pretty fast-paced game, which is probably not... 
what we wanted to do from the get-go, being short numbered, getting foul trouble and missed free throw there. Can't rest your players. Blank the chip with the ball with 12 seconds left. Marshall on drive in, little Euro step, puts nice it play. in. 40 to 56. They stop his dribble. Yeah, they had Crossner. No good. And we go into the end of the uh, third quarter. Falcons trailing 40 to 56. We'll be back in a moment. Welcome back to the fourth quarter. Falcons trailing 56 to 40. Um, Falcons scored 19 points in that third quarter, but gave up 24. When you're already trailing, tough to give up 24 points. They started that second half off with a bang, I think. Uh, we, we won the second half of the third quarter, but uh, when you're down as much as we've been down, there's, that, that's not enough. The only way to get back in a game like this is to play really fast or coach Chase that with a nice fake. Yeah. Takes it in for his 14th point of the ball game. Like I said earlier, I've, I've seen some good things from Jace tonight. I think uh, he carries us in the next game. We get Jesse back. I think if they, he continues to do what he did tonight, minus the uh, of his foul, fouls that he gave, uh, he's had a pretty good, complete game. Oh, one of the three-pointer gave it up. Another person's going to take it. Blankenship comes down with the rebound. Falcons have the numbers. He takes it all the way to the basket. No good. Elms follows up with hey, a bucket. Nice. Hey, we keep at this pace. They're not being very smart with the ball right 16 now. 16 we'll points for Elms. Yes, yeah. down 12 now, 56-44. Yeah, we I didn't like playing fast in those first three quarters, but we have no choice right now. It's the only way we're going to get back in this game. Oh, nice, nice play. defense. Hold this with a nice takeaway. Take it all Take the it way. All the way. Nice play. Nice. Oh, he's going to call a walk. Nope, they nope. didn't. All he right, there we go. Out of boy, Cole. His sixth point of the ball game. Falcons just like that. Cut it to 10. Yeah. Made it a game. We do one or two more like that down there soon. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll be watch. back in this thing. Crowd might even get in it. I would slow it down and pound it inside if I were them. They yep. got bigger players than we do, and they can put it in there. Yep. Nice defense again. Nope. Like and chill. Jammed, jammed his finger, hand, yep. jammed a finger or something. The Warriors ball on the sideline in front of their bench. Give it inside. Oh, and off his foot. They're going to call foul, Brinkley. Latham with his second foul. It's going to be a one and one opportunity for the Warriors. They've been a good free throw shooting team. They are. Maybe, maybe the difference maker when it gets right down to it. Doesn't look like that maybe just from a casual view tonight, but uh, the stats don't lie. <clears throat> and that's definitely the difference in the ball game. They've hit theirs. We had we missed 10 or 11. We're only down 12, and they've hit almost all of theirs. If they had missed 10 or 11, we'd be tied up. Long three-pointer to Sam Marshall. Good, his 16th point of the ball game. Hey, we're hitting on all cylinders right now. I think we just hopefully it, won't run out cut of time. It to nine. Yeah. Who would have thought? Six minutes, yeah. I'd have taken that just 15 minutes ago. When you told me we'd get it down to nine, I wouldn't have believed them. We just don't need to get, we don't need to foul. They've shown what they can do when they go to the foul line, so we need to be smart. Play tight defense. Ooh. 
be the third foul, I mean fourth foul on Cole Oxley. Ninth team foul. It's be a one and one. Strassner at the free throw line, he hit his last two. First one is good. 59-49, five minutes, 46 seconds left. I got a feeling this team practices their free throws quite a bit. Missed that second one though, it's gonna have a tie ball. It's gonna be Ridgefield's ball. Can't let that happen. You gotta get those rebounds off of free throws. <clears throat> we got a timeout by Ridgefield. The full timeout. And we'll be back in a minute. Welcome back, Falcons, Falcons cut into this lead, 59-49, five minutes, 44 seconds left. Warriors with the ball underneath. Not out of the realm of possibility to get back in this game. We've, no. we've uh, cut some off there, if we can continue that. Got to cut that baseline off with your legs. Can't let them go through like that. <clears throat> Easy two for Ridgefield right there. 26 point for Doss McDaniel. Marshall with the ball, he's gonna drive down. He gives it back to Elms, but it went right by his head. Blankenship with three point shot and puts it down. He's got a nice looking shot. He just hadn't, hadn't hit a lot that I've been watching, but. Uh, That's his 10th point of the ball game. Falcons cut it to nine again. He could be an integral part of uh, us going into the new year. Pass nice. underneath. Oh. Good defense. Oh, they're gonna, frankly, gonna draw his third foul. Yeah, a little reckless abandon there by Lathan. Their big boy's pretty talented with his feet. Lathan kind of got his underneath his and uh, collision ensued. Made two free throws. I bragged on their free throws and he missed last time. Maybe I should do that again here. There we go. Hey, all right. <clears throat> He's missed the first one. So we're down to nine points and they're putting a little press on us. We should beat that press. We should score quick on those. Yep, they missed both of them, but they got the rebound. You just can't, we can't do that. And that's gonna be Blankenship's third foul. Berkeley with that foul, they're gonna shoot two more free throws. Yeah, I've got to block your man out on those free throws. You can't let them. McDaniel to the line. He has 26 points in the ball game. This kid don't miss. I think it's the first time it's touched the rim. Yep. 62-52. And we jinxed him into missing one. We did, but they got the rebound, but we stole it, so. Back in the trail by 10. We get a bucket here. Chance to cut it in, into the lead. Closer than it's been in a while, but we turned the ball over. Behind the back. It'd been pretty if it had finished. What are they gonna call? They're gonna call foul. I'm not really sure what they're gonna do. He, he's gonna call it on number two, I believe. He's waiting for him to, yep. That's gonna be Michael Carl's fourth foul, eighth team foul. 
Marshall with a chance to get two free throws right here. It's a one and one opportunity and chance to cut it to eight if he hits both of them. <clears throat> it's been a long time since we've been down eight. Yep. First one is up and it's good. I wouldn't mind seeing a little bit of a press on our part right here. Just a just a, a soft press, just to see, put a little panic in them and maybe let them throw it away. Put a little pressure on the inbounds if we make this. A lot of fouls. Falcons cut it to eight, 54 to 62. We play a good half court defense. Yeah, they're gonna, if they're smart, they're gonna slow it down, but they've not showed any reason. They're hurrying their shots. Just as long as they make them. Will Archer with that three, that's his 13th point of the ball game. We're back up 11. Yeah, they've got four of their players on our side of the court. And they take it away. Oh, he was wanting to go down. Oh, and we had the rebound and lost. Really, really sloppy play right now, both sides. <clears throat> Just when I think we're gonna make a good play to get back into it. We, we throw one away. Getting a little sloppy with it. The ball both sides right now. Summit trying to take the ball away. They're gonna call foul on Luke Summit. He's gonna foul out. That little That's soccer nice. move right there is like it's <laughs> it taken was, away from yeah. him and then he used his feet. He fouled with his feet right there. It was a soccer move. He 